Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I finally decided that it was time to get some organization in my bathroom. I started with a medicine cabinet DIY that you'll see here in this video. And then there's also just a few organizational DIYs and decor pieces that I've either thrifted and some that have come from my grandmother's beautiful vintage and antique stash of things that she thrifted over the years. We're starting out with a super easy project. I found two of these glass jars with the wooden lids from my thrift store. And so I decided to turn one into a tissue dispenser. So all I did was take my drill with a large drill bit and drill a hole in the top. Then I just took some tissues and rolled them up to fit down into my jar, twisted that top little tissue so that I could fit it through the hole. And then I had a tissue dispenser. And for the other jar that I picked up that is very similar to the tissue dispenser one, I'm using that one for my Q-tips. This next bathroom organizational piece is inspired by my friend Kathy, who made this beautiful plastic container for her bathroom. She got this from Dollar Tree, so I picked up one of the larger ones as well and wanted to do something similar for my soap bars. Now, Kathy used a Dollar Tree wallpaper sheet, but since my Dollar Tree didn't have that wallpaper, I just grabbed some that I already had on hand, took the little knob off of the top of my plastic container. Then I used the lid to make a circle on my wallpaper and then cut that down. I then took that circle piece of wallpaper and placed it over top of my lid, pushing it down to make that hole in the center before removing the back and actually putting this on top of my lid. Then I just used a ruler to measure the side of the lid for the container and then marked it onto my wallpaper so that I could cut down a strip to put around it. I ended up leaving my container just clear so that you could see the soaps inside of it, but Kathy did a really pretty crackle effect on her, so if you'd like to see how she did that, you can check out her blog. It's in my description box below. But finally, for this project, I just used some white chalk paint to paint my knob. One piece that I actually got from my grandmother who recently passed away is this beautiful little hobnail milk glass jar that I thought would be perfect for bobby pins. For this next project, I really wanted to make a medicine box to keep all of my medicines and bandages and everything just together. So I found this wood box at my thrift store and I just first gave it a very nice cleaning and then I took it outside and spray painted it with some Rust-Oleum white spray paint and then I brought it back in and drew a couple lines on it just using my ruler. In between those lines, I wanted to give it a decorative touch so I'm using using these brand new stamps that I found from Dollar Tree and just stamping this in all four corners of the lines I made. Then I did the exact same thing on the front of my box using those stamps again in all four corners and just leaving out the lines. Then I wanted to make this look like a first aid box, so I just grabbed some painter's tape and I taped out the little cross symbol. I used some black chalk paint to paint that first little rectangle and then I removed the painter's tape and I'm going to tape it across this time. Again, I just used my black chalk paint and painted over that and then once I removed my painter's tape, I had a little first aid sign. Now I went back and forth with what to put on the top of this box, but in the end I decided 
decided to put apothecary. So I just used one of my Dollar Tree stencils and some more of my black chalk paint to stencil that onto the top of here. Then I decided since there was so much space below there, I would just put another first aid sign. And then I grabbed some of these Dollar Tree rub-on transfers. This one says the, and then these are just pretty little swirly lines that I added to the top of this. This is also another piece that I got from my grandmother. Again, another milk glass piece that I thought would be really cute and unique to use as a toothbrush and toothpaste holder. For this final project, and probably my favorite one in today's video, I wanted to make a cabinet for my bathroom. Unfortunately, medicine cabinets are super expensive and they don't usually have the room that I was looking for, so I wanted to build my own. So I went to Home Depot and grabbed these pieces of wood that I've just shown you, and I'm actually gonna put my sketch of my cabinet here with the total cost of how much it was. So if you want to build this, you can definitely just screenshot that and keep it for yourself. To start this cabinet, I went ahead and built the frame and I didn't record it because I actually built this in my basement, which is dark. But as you can see in my drawing, I used a two by four by eight to make the outside frame. And then I used a one by four by eight to make the shelves. Everything was wood glued together then screwed together using wood screws and I did countersink my screws so that I can fill in those holes and you won't be able to see them. Now as you can see this is a really simple rectangular shape so it was super easy to make this and you can also see that my outside pieces are a little thicker than my shelves. This is really just personal preference but I did this for two reasons. One to have more room on my shelves from top to bottom and then also just because this was cheaper. Now as I mentioned before I countersunk my screws and now I'm using this wood filler to fill in those holes and then I set this aside to dry. Then it was time to build the doors for my cabinet. So as you can see here I have some one by three by sixes and I have the length of each piece here in my drawing but I did miter all the corners for these and two of the one by three by sixes was just enough to make two doors. So I started by putting all my pieces together to build my door and then I used some Gorilla Wood glue to put these together and I clamped them. Then I grabbed some of these metal braces and I'm going to use these on the corners. You can find these in pretty much any hardware store or on Amazon. So I'm just using these as double security to hold my doors together. Now, instead of buying extra wood to make panels for my door, I decided to use this cane webbing, which I already had on hand. So this is not gonna cost me anything extra. Now you could also use fabric or anything really that you have on hand. Anytime you're working with cane webbing, before you actually use it, you want to soak this in some warm water for about 30 minutes so that it is easier to work with. So that's exactly what I did. I soaked my piece for about 30 minutes in some warm water, and then I used my staple gun to attach this to the back of my door. As I was going around stapling it, I just made sure that I was pulling that cane really tight. Then it was time to paint both my doors and also the frame for my cabinet. Now I ended up just using some Glidden Ultra White Latex paint for this project 
And because this is going to be in my bathroom, I went with a satin finish on my paint so that this will be easier to clean. Now you may also notice that I painted that cane webbing the same color because I didn't want this to be too much of a boho look. I wanted it to be more vintage looking. So I did paint that cane webbing as well with some of this white paint. And as you just saw there, before I painted my base, I did go in with some light sandpaper and sand over the wood filler. Once everything was dry, I used these decorative gold hinges that I found at Home Depot and attached my doors to my frame. And I didn't end up doing hidden hinges on this because I thought they were really pretty. Now it took me a while to actually pick out handles for my doors, but I actually went with something that is not handles. These are actually just decorative little pieces of metal for boxes or things like that and I just bent them to make them into handles. And then for a final touch, I definitely wanted to add some decorative little pieces to the corners of my doors. So I grabbed these little metal pieces and glued them down with some gel super glue to complete this. I ended up getting both these corner pieces and those little metal pieces that I turned into handles, both from Amazon. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.